when it comes to organic matter in the soil, it is incredibly important. We want to talk about the reasons why today, as well as how you can build organic matter in your soil going into next year. Building organic matter definitely doesn't happen overnight. It's not like from one year to the next, you're going to go from 2% organic matter to 5 in your soil but it is something to target over the long term. So the first step towards building that organic matter is going to be reducing the amount of tillage that you're doing. As we go into harvest season this fall, uh, doing less tillage out there is going to be important. We just talked about spreading the residue evenly. One reason that more tillage gets done or extra passes of tillage is when residue is not spread, right? So if you get the residue spread evenly, you've got a much better chance of doing less tillage or no tillage on your farm. All right, reducing tillage is by far and away number one when it comes to building organic matter. Number two on the list would be planting crops with lots of roots. So we're talking about corn here instead of soybeans. On average, corn plants are going to have roughly five times the overall root mass of soybean plants. So if we have that many more roots in the ground, that's huge. And the reason why is because a lot of people think that organic matter is built from above ground residue, and that is not true. Yes, there could be a little bit of organic matter that comes from the above ground residue, but most of that above ground residue is to protect the soil from erosion. Where most organic matter is actually built is when roots decay down below the ground. So if you can leave the root mass intact by reducing tillage, and you have more roots to begin with by planting crops that have lots of them, like corn for example, then you're well on the path toward having more organic matter long term in your soil. Using manure or compost is a great way to fertilize your fields, but also to help increase organic matter over time. There is organic material there, obviously, uh, and the more that we can apply out to our fields gives us a better chance of growing that organic matter down in our soils throughout the years. The other couple steps would be use cover crops and use biological products. So altogether, we've really got five steps here. It's reduce the tillage, it's plant crops with lots of roots, use manure or compost, plant cover crops, and then use some biological products. So if you do those five things over a long period of time, you're going to see your organic matter levels just continue to rise. And why is this important? Why do we really care? Well, one of the big things is just the overall health of your soil. When you walk out onto your ground, does it feel hard as a rock or is it kind of spongy? When the soil's spongy, you just have better chance for soil life. You have more room for roots to grow, more air or oxygen is getting down into the soil. Just to help your overall soil health and tilth, this is incredibly important. Well, you can't really measure that very well. Now, there are some measurements out there looking at soil health, but over the years, more guys have tried to measure the amount of nutrients in the soil or the amount of water in the soil. What we see with organic matter, for each 1% of organic matter that you can build in your soil, you can hold 4% more water. So if you can increase your organic matter by 3% over the years, well, you can increase your water holding capacity by 12%. That's huge on many farms across the country. That's going to be the difference between being wildly successful and just having a good crop. When we look at the nutrients, clay in the soil is thought to hold all these nutrients. And so many farmers think, well, I've got clay, so I can hold plenty of nutrients out there. Organic matter can hold more nutrients than the clay can and also it can hold some of the nutrients that are negatively charged. With soil particles, they are negatively charged, and to hold negatively charged nutrients, uh, it's hard. It's like a magnet. They repel each other. But organic matter is that piece in your soil that can hold those nutrients in place. Building organic matter in your soil is important. We want your soil to be as healthy as possible, and you want that too if you're going to have higher yields in the future. So you can again follow our steps today that we talked about toward that organic matter, building it up. It's going to be so tremendously beneficial for you, both in the short term and in the long term. We've identified some key steps here to building organic matter, but can you identify our Weed of the Week? We'll talk about it later in the show.